a forgotten time, a world apart. But this is my grandfather. This is his memory. Their beliefs, whole, intact, alive, yet forced, controlled, contrived, borrowed. This is his time. This is his place. From the bottom of the sea, I can hear him loud and clear. But who's pressing the button? Who's receiving the bullet? Are the blood of these people so different? Are the contours of our shores such a barrier? Bring these shores together. Let this blood come together. Bring him back to land, bring him back to the skies. Bring us. into new territories. It's for us now to plant new flags on our boundaries. Bring these drops of blood, drops of tears, onto the same flag.
I thought it would be fun just to share a few elements of how this video came together because in fact the way it's been edited is completely uh, inverted to the flow of its origin because I was working with scrap wood in my garden shed and did start off with this notion of the symbolism of flags and how powerful that can be of identity and boundaries and I just let the project gradually progress and um, was hesitating on what kind of uh, an image or surface to create actually on the flag itself. And over a few days, just suddenly, naturally, the idea of tears and working with them in red seemed to be a very kind of intuitive uh, draw. And then I turned it into this performance to go to the beach and surprise a fisherman to ask him to take photographs of me while I was lying in the, in the waves. Fisherman here, who you'll see in the background, he very kindly took a photograph of me, this kind gentleman there. <laughs> he didn't think I was a complete nut and nutter. But yeah, it just feels such a threshold to pass over being creative, doing something different on the beach as I'm walking along with my flag here, which is uh, an odd piece of wood to be carrying around with you <laughs> it's across the car park, across the beach. But it was actually not until the fact that I was, I was walking away from the beach carrying this flag back to the van that I was just so struck by the image of my grandfather and the memory of my grandfather. So that's how this video came together, that uh, I suddenly realised there's the connection, that uh, identity, sacrifice, boundaries, all were such powerful themes for the sacrifice that so many generations have made in, in conflicts and in war. And the story of my grandmother has always been close to my heart that I've never celebrated. And so here was a, a sort of a performance um, art work that I felt could really come together nicely. And then the reading of my poetry was totally spontaneous. Those lines and words were edited, but uh, were just uh, a flow. So thanks so much for watching this video.